Simone spoke to Oprah Winfrey on her own network, stating she doesn't want to be labeled. Simone said she's an American, not an African-American. The former star of The Cosby Show and That's So Raven told Oprah Winfrey, I mean, I don't know where my roots go to. I don't know how far back they go. I don't know what country in Africa I'm from, but I do know my roots are in Louisiana. I'm an American, and that's a colorless person because we're all people. I have lots of things running through my veins. Simone also spoke about her relationships. The 28-year-old came out of the closet to Oprah Winfrey Sunday night. She spoke for the first time about her tweet celebrating the Supreme Court ruling on gay marriage last year and explained she's in a relationship with a woman, but added, I don't want to be labeled gay. I want to be a human who loves humans. Stephen Collins, who starred in the television show Seventh Heaven, is the target of an ongoing child molestation probe into an alleged incident 40 years ago in New York. Following the revelation, Collins was fired from his job on the movie Ted 2. TMZ released an audio recording that purports to have been recorded during a November 2012 therapy session involving Collins and his estranged wife, Faye Grant. Collins and Grant are in the middle of a contentious divorce. Collins made incriminating statements in the recording. No charges have been filed, according to police. The case is no longer active. Collins played the Reverend Eric Camden on Seventh Heaven, which aired from 1996 to 2007. Paul Revere, leader of the 1960s rock band Paul Revere and the Raiders, died Saturday at his home in Idaho. He was 76 years old. Revere, whose birth name was Paul Revere Dick, was the front man for the band that often performed in three-cornered hats and other clothing from the American Revolution. The band recorded a string of hits in the 1960s and early 70s, including Kicks, Hungry, and Indian Reservation. Revere, the band's organist, had a hyperactive, effervescent stage personality and came to be known as the madman of rock and roll. I'm Deanna O'Donnell. That's your entertainment this week.